welcome to the third annual Joystick Go Baby Go Car Building Workshop. This workshop is sponsored by the University of Oregon Holden Center and United Way, generously hosted by the Eugene Science Center and organized by the South Eugene Robotics Team. If you are a little kid who can't move around well because of a disability, it is sometimes difficult to make friends and play. Power wheelchairs for toddlers are practically non-existent. Traditional power wheelchairs cost thousands of dollars, and if a child might eventually walk, insurance won't cover the cost. In the meantime, kids are missing out on time to develop socially. Happily, Cole Galloway, a professor of physical therapy at the University of Delaware, found a solution. He realized that he could modify ride-on cars that he saw at a toy store to be used by toddlers with disabilities. The modified toy car only costs around $200, less than a twentieth of the price of the other wheelchairs. The standard modification is not that difficult to do. You replace the pedal with a large, more easily pushed button and add a backrest. The nonprofit organization called Go Baby Go has spread around the world focusing on making these modifications to cars for kids. Oregon became a big center for Go Baby Go when Professor Sam Logan moved to the Oregon State University from the University of Delaware, where he worked with Cole Galloway. The standard modification has helped hundreds and hundreds of kids start moving around, but the button gives no control of speed and kids often can't turn the steering wheel by themselves. Physical therapists working at the CDRC, a clinic in Eugene, asked if cars could be made to drive like a power wheelchair, and South Eugene Robotics team members started the project of designing and then writing instructions for a joystick-controlled model. About 20 joystick trucks have been built in connection with CERT, and we have answered emails from people using the instructions we published online from as far as Greece and England. Unlike the button modification, adding a joystick takes longer and requires more technical work. Instead of replacing a single switch, many new parts need to be soldered in, along with adding a PVC pipe frame. CERT started organizing workshops to get cars modified and teach soldering and mechanical skills. In groups of two students and two CERT members teaching, we've converted four or five cars to joystick control in each workshop. Here are some videos of one kid named Luca who got a truck we made. can see that he enjoys it, and he also got great practice with using a joystick that was helpful for him when he got a power wheelchair recently. His family has been incredibly supportive of the Joystick Go Baby Go project. 